Bonjour. Bonjour. Welcome back to the BB Morris channel. Today we have our Universal Yums box. And if you heard our greeting, you know it's from France. So we're excited to try this today. Before we get into it, um, always going to read the clue for next month's box. It's always on the back. So let's see what's next. So it says, next month an expedition is in store. Down the Rio, we'll search from shore to shore. Not for critters, for something even more rare. Chilies, passion fruit, and yums beyond compare. Where do you think that is? Go in the comment section. Let me know your guess. I don't know. I don't know either. So, <laughs> let's, let's just get into this month's box. France. It's gonna be so good. Alright, so of course with Universal Yums, we always use our booklet because we can't read the packaging. So this is gonna tell us what's in it. Alright. So you're gonna be a holder. You're gonna hold and show. He's gonna be like the the Van White on the Beauty Mars show. Oh, this is a floral cheese flavored potato chip. Fromage. Ah, cheese. All right, let's try it. Just to fill up and you want it to eat on. Um, it tastes cheese. It's not like a cheddar cheese, of course. It's a subtle cheese. Um, <coughs> but it's good. Good well, night. Hmm. All right. They're not the best chips, but they're okay. They're not the worst. This is kind of like a funky taste a little bit. Slight funky taste. All right, moving on. We've got cocoa dusted truffles. Four truffles. French cocoa truffles. Hmm. Really good stuff in this book, you guys. So they might have melted. They definitely melted. Let me just share it. Yeah. I'll show it. This is like a chocolate it's bar. Smoothie. It's smooth. It tastes like chocolate pudding. Like literally chocolate pudding. That's really good. That was really good. Really good. That was tasty. I like that one. Alright. I think this one I was excited about. Because this one says it's like um, it's made from rubbing cold butter, flour, and sugar. So um, it uh, resembles sand. So I'm hoping it's going to be like those polverones I love from the Philippines, from Spain. So, 1888. These are butter biscuits. Hmm. Hoping for a bit more than that. I hope these are good. But they get then again, since they didn't um, put a lot in, maybe I don't want to like it too much. But then again, they have the shop so if you see something you like if you you know you tasted something you like just go on and buy it in the shop individually super they smell cool butter. they do smell like butter do you show them they look like baby biscuits i'm scared 
Not my thing. No, not like program. It's good. Like a shortbread. Like yeah, a shortbread. Right. They're like those cookies that come in a tin. Right? Maybe like, um, hmm, Pepperidge Farm cookies? They're really good. I like them. You don't like them. Four out of ten. Nine out of ten. Mmm. All right, moving on. What are those? I'm guessing vinegar. Mm-hmm. So they're vinegar chips. Not much else to say besides that. So, except for also, I did learn that the from French vinaigre means sour wine. Mm-hmm. Took a nice full cool hand of sour wine chips there. Ooh, they definitely smell like vinegar. Wow. Super sour. Mm-hmm. Those vinegar chips. They taste good. They're a good crunch. You know what I mean? Like a good texture to them. They're smooth. Yeah, for vinegar chips, they're good. Tastes like salt and vinegar chips. I mean, there's salt on there because there's chips, so. Not as much salt as we want, though. Yeah. All right. So we got some sweets here we're going to dig into. He's going to show off one of these cakes that we have. Mm -hmm. This is a cake roll with raspberry Philly. France practically invented dessert. No, really. The word dessert comes from the French word meaning to clear the table interesting so we got the raspberry filling in the middle of this cake roll syrupy raspberry jam it looks like a good jam too it's not bleeding in to the cake so it's not too runny hmm i'm good for raspberry but that's not bad and it's moist Pretty good. You know, sometimes they send us these cakes and they're just so dry. So it almost makes it feel like the filling is not enough filling because it's yeah. just dry and it just overtakes it. But this has a good balance. And I'm not big on raspberry either, so. There you go, it's really good. I'll give that a uh, 7 out of 10. Mm. All right. Off to a good start. Next, these are cheese flavored tube snacks. Huh. Do they have like little pockets of it in there? Like oh. a messed up bugle. Yeah, like empty ones. They look like they're filled in the middle. No, that's not. Ooh. Not bad. It's like cheese popcorn, but without the popcorn texture. They don't, they're not as toasted as the package. Very bugle like, kind of, but without that. Hard crunching. That, that legit bugle taste that makes. Like when we have the bugle, the churro bugles, you tasted that it was a bugle. Bugle has a taste to it, a distinctive taste. It's close, bad. but <clears throat> not a bad snack. Yeah, really good. Got a little mouse up there for cheese. Mmm. Let's see. All right, we had some savory. Now we're gonna try some sweet. This is dark chocolate with sea salt. Fancy we have dark chocolate with sea salt here. Hmm. All right. We'll 
we'll just probably split this. I don't want a whole one. They look nice. Cute design. Shiny. Yeah. Chocolate with sea salt. That's good. We just chocolate with sea salt. So okay. let's move on. Good chunks of salt. They're big chunks. Yeah. So you get that texture as well. It's good. It's really good. So what do we have next? What do we have next? These. Not really into dark chocolate, but that wasn't bad. No, it had a good flavor for dark chocolate. It wasn't too bitter. These are chewy strawberry candies. Hmm. Strawberries. They also sell it making strawberry treats. Merci. Merci is, uh, thank you, I believe. Go in the comment section if I'm wrong. <laughs> I think I'm right. Mercy for two. Scissors. All right. Sometimes you need so, them. He's getting that ready. I'll get the other thing ready, so we'll be ready next time. That'll be ready. And then this will be next. And then that thing will be next. Look like a little. Oh, that's weird. Huh. They smell very strong. They taste good. It's not like a shock or tartiness or it's real. Yeah, it's not very tart. Strawberry, nice, sweet taste. Chewy. Makes me think of, um... It's like a, almost like a sugar-free Starburst, maybe. Mm -hmm. <sighs> like a, a now, oh, I can't think of the, the candy. Those, okay, sweetheart, sweet, shock tarts, shock tarts. It's got like the outside, it's kind of hard, but you can chew it, and on the inside it's just really soft. It's like that inside is just really soft and chewy. So, <laughs> all right, all right, so we know when we hear France, I usually think of truffles. So these are almond flavored truffles and I'm really excited about these because we've gotten these before, but they've been cocoa dusted. So now these are almond flavored, almond flavored truffles. So it should have that almond taste, kind of a amaretto, fudgy taste to it. Chocolatey amaretto. Mm. Really good. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Small amounts. Too much, it'll kind of make you sick. Really it's very rich. Yeah, very rich. But very good. So. Alright, let's break up some of that sweetness that we got going on with some salty savory. Next, we have these honey mustard potato chips. So, I'm glad it's honey mustard, I hope. I don't like mustard. If it was regular mustard, he'd be eating this alone. And don't worry, there's something in this box that he's going to be eating alone. Because if you guys watch my channel, you know there are, certain, there are a few things, just a few things that I don't do. Hmm. Yeah. Totally honey mustard. Yeah. 
Like you dipped it, but your ch chips not soggy. Hey, that's not bad. It's really good. It's not too strong, and it's not too mustardy. Cause like I said, I don't like mustard. Yeah, yeah as he keeps going. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna move on. We have um, back to the sweets. Oh, we're gonna be on sweet for a little bit here. These are chocolate cookies with hazelnut and cocoa cream. So it says, you might really love Nutella, but do you love it as much as the French do? Hmm. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Ooh, they look big. There's like bowls of pudding in the background of this. Definitely splitting it. Oh, well, it's a cookie. I'm splitting it. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. Look at that. That's mine. Mmm. Those are the bomb. The cookie's nice and crunchy, but it's a good cookie. It's a good chocolate cookie. And then the hazelnut cream in the middle, it's a different texture than Nutella. Yeah. It's not as thick. It's like they whip more chocolate in it or something. That's going to be good with some, with, if you drink hot tea or some coffee. That's going to be really good with some coffee. Mmm. So far, so good, France. Let's keep it going. Hopefully, this one should be good. I'm a little sad, Universal Yums. I have to say something to you if you're watching. Just one? Just one? When we first started getting the um, Super Yums box, we had multiple um, like duplicates of, of these smaller things. So, kind of how you sent us two of the mini rolls. We used to get like three or four. I miss that was it. Really good. I love you still, but I miss it, Yums. Hmm. This is the apple caramel butter biscuit. I don't want that big. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mellow. Mmm. Like a candy apple cookie. What is um? The caramel in there. Kind of like. You can see it. Mm hmm. It and you can feel it almost toffee like. Look how shiny that is. With the tart from like. This is like a legit green apple or something. It's like the apple. Like oatmeal. Like the apple and cinnamon oatmeal. It's like that, but somebody added caramel, but it's no oatmeal. That's our flavor. That's my flavor profile. I'm sticking with it. Pretty good. All right. This next one. Okay. Woo. We're going to get the drinks ready for this one. This is our first time. No, we've had, have we had spicy chocolate? We had spicy seaweed before. We had we've chocolate had with pop rocks. We've had chocolate with saffron. Orange. Chocolates with orange, orange is dipped in chocolate. But this is a mango and Sichuan pepper dark chocolate. So it's dark chocolate and it's got mango pieces and it's also got some spicy peppers. So excited. Sometimes if it's not too much heat, it can be a good thing. Look at that. Um, yeah. This is my piece. Did you show them? Okay. Same little design mm. though. But it's got a little bits in it. Totally tastes mango. A little mm. mango bit. Mmm. Mmm. 
for mango. Fish. I didn't get any spice of pepper, but I taste it. But I taste mango mostly. A lot of mango for me. Any spice? No heat. I'm not getting any heat, so it's not spicy. It just has it in there. For flavor. It's, it's definitely strong, got the flavor. Very deep flavors. Mm-hmm. Like makes the, the mango of it is like a produce market. That that taste that you get at a produce market. So next we're moving on to my mortal enemy my arch nemesis are you ready because Corey's eating this one by himself this yeah. is mushroom flavored potato chips i don't do mushrooms so we're gonna sit back and hear what Corey's got to say we've had the uh, truffles Trouble chips. But you know what I'd like to say? Well, he chews and thinks what he likes about it. Um, we, di we didn't get to do France. This is our first France box. And we joined right after France. They went from France to Poland. So our first box was Poland. And now that's funny because last month's box was Poland. And then this month is France. So this is our first time doing France. So we're pretty excited about this as well. So what's the... What do you think about them? Ugh, it's got pictures of mushrooms on it. I hate looking at mushrooms. They taste. They taste just like it. They taste just like mushrooms? Yeah. Do they smell like mushrooms? Not so much. How's the crunch of the chip? Same as the rest. Little ridge. Just a regular ridge chip. But strong marshmallow or mar mushroom. See, I'm trying to replace it with better things. Not bad. For a mushroom chip, um, give it an eight out of ten. Get back up there, France. <laughs> All right. So now that that's out the way, I can join back in. We have another cake we're gonna try. Yeah. This is a sponge cake with apricot j jam. So it uh, has a little passage here about let them eat cake. Known to be quoted for from Marie Antoinette, but um, it's got a little bit more going into the historians what uh where it really could have came from and if it was actually even ever said. So it's a little smush. It had a hard Shiny. had a hard time getting here for the delivery. How's the middle look? Oh yeah, you can totally tell there's stuff in there. Hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Moist. Starts off like Play Doh. Tastes weird. Tasted weird at first. Yeah. I don't taste Play Doh. I don't know what it tastes like. But I think it was really good. I think it was really moist. I think the apricot jelly or jam in it was good. I like the jam in the other roll better. The texture of the jam, just a little thicker, a little more set. I like that. The cake was too mushy for me. It didn't have no airiness to it. So. I would, yeah, I would say this was an apricot filling as opposed to a jam because a jam has to have that certain consistency to it. Did you like it though? I give it a five. Ooh, that's not very low, uh, high. About right in the middle, but I would give it a pretty high score. I think it's pretty good. Uh, hmm, I'll give it an eight. Eight out of ten. It was pretty bomb. So we're moving. Oh no. You know what this means? We're almost done. We're on the ums bag. All right. So these are bonbons. Would you like to cut this open? And bon bon in France, bon means good, right? Good, so it's saying good, 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 good. So this first, I guess just dump them out and we'll, we'll see what's what. Just dump them. All right, 
Okay, so we'll separate. We got two little things here. We got four little things here. We got two little things there. We got these little things here. We got them thingies here. All right. So, I think these are first. First up is, uh, okay, so there's three flavors. Tropical, peach tea, and, and cola flavored. Chews with sour filling. You got tropical. That's red. This seems to be the peach tea. You should have done peach tea because I, I would probably. It's okay. I'll try the. Try, cola. Uh, oh, it's cola. Oh. Oh, this is tropical. This Gout is. Cola. The pitch. Let's let's do another one. Is the smell of that cola I don't know. Okay. Yeah, do the tea one. The I don't like tea. Mushrooms, tea, and regular mustard. It's pretty. Though. No. Hmm, what's in it? I don't know what he gave it to me. I don't like tea. Okay, we'll put it. We'll put it to the side. It's so sour. Well, yeah. Sour filling. Oof. Sour filling. So guess what, you guys? I think Corey was saying it's sour. It's not fun. Maybe the kids will like that. We're going to move on to this next one. These are salted caramel. Oh, salted butter caramels. They look like the, can the toffee candies, the caramel candies that we got from the England box. From the, well, from the U UK, the United Kingdom one, because we had a couple of countries. Oh. Oh. Very caramel and caramel. You salted get that caramel? Well, it's salted butter. It's good. Yeah, it's good. Very chewy though. Have your toothbrush ready. Brush it off because it's kind of gets stuck on there. Well, I might pull some teeth now. <laughs> so don't do that to have a toothbrush ready. All right, so here, interesting. You want to show that off, sir? These are cocoa dusted truffles with a raspberry macaroon chips. I do like macaroons. One little chunk. Some crunchy. I kind of like that. Okay. It's creamy and smooth, just like all the other truffles. Mm -hmm. The chocolate had an, almost an almond taste to it. So that almirado taste almost to the chocolate. Then you got the raspberry, and it has a oh, it's a raspberry macaroon chip. So, so they're little crunchy pieces throughout, and they add to the texture, and they're really good. Like we said, we're we're not big on raspberry, but yeah, we would eat these again. Really good. There's one just like this too, so we're almost there. Next, since this one over here loves sour so much, sour cola bars. Hmm. Um. Well, it's gonna be sour cola. There's a story about it here. 
Uh, keep in mind as you sample this cola, your first reaction to its sourness might be to spit it out. But we think you'll end up smiling even if it's through puckered lips. Feels like it should be fizzing. Definitely cola. And tart. Probably not as tart as that candy he had. It's weird. It feels like it should be fizzy. Well, that's good because that means they caught the cola flavor spot on. It's weird. This is going to be my most unusual. I've had cola candies. I've had gold, cola gummies. Two different forms. Yeah. It's weird. It's weird. It's not bad, but it's not good. We're going to move on so we can get this flavor out of our mouth. He looks like he's going to die over here. Uh. Like <laughs> okay. All right, so here's our very last um, um, item in the box. This is a cocoa dusted truffle with hazelnut. So just like we had the other one with the raspberry macaroon bits, this is a uh, with, ow, with hazelnut. Y'all saw him throw stuff at me? You saw that? I see little bits in it. I like truffles with bits in them. Mmm. Kind of helps break up the rich. Mmm. Mm hmm. This is even better. This is even better. Mmm. Oh. That's it, though. That's the end of Universal Yum's box. What would you say your favorite was? If you had to pick. There's a lot of good stuff. I don't know. Okay, let's just say what, what did you not like? Aside from this sour cola gummy. What did you not like? Oh, those cookies. You didn't like the crumbly cookies. Yeah. I love them. Which is fine because I'll just be eating them. Yeah. Um... I'll say what I like the least is those mushroom chips because I didn't eat them because I don't like mushroom. So that's what I like the least. Thank you for watching, everybody. We hope you enjoyed. Please make sure you click subscribe. Stay up to date. Oh. The super. Yes, and yeah, we love the Super Yums box. We've been getting it for well over a year now. So if you haven't tried Universal, Universal Yums yet, totally try it. But until then... Make sure you click subscribe. Thanks, you guys. Toodles. Toodles.